And today I'm just going to walk you through some basic fault finding steps for the Zone Station 2 system and the things we need to look out for and quite often what we what we find and the sort of symptoms you'll see. So quite often we hear people ringing up and going to say, we've got the, the lights on the controller are flashing or strobing or not coming on at all. Um, generally, the main issue we find with the Zone Station is actually just the power supply. So you might get in the roof and you'll hear uh, what it sounds like relays clicking with inside the box here. And they'll just they'll be like clicking on and off. Um, you'll be seeing lights flickering on and off on the touch panel. Um, that is what, what we normally find is uh, we're having an undersupply of voltage from the transformer to run the control system or electronics inside the control system. So that's one of the main issues we have with the zone station is that flashing lights and we're clicking or clicking on the relays inside the control box. Most times, majority of the times, it's just the power supply. Um, those who are competent, you, you may want to uh, check with your multimeter, but between the red and black, we're looking for 12 volts, and between the two white, we're looking for 20, 24 volts AC. So 12 volts DC on the red and black, 24 volts AC on the two white wires. So that's the normal, one of the first issues we normally look for to double check is the power supply. So one of the other problems we have from time to time is people can say they don't get airflow or the zones aren't closing in a space. So sometimes we find that the zone rotors aren't actually driving. So a couple of different things we can have is either the zone rotor is seized, which is a little actuator inside the zone rotor, or the shaft is broken. Generally the shaft breaks due to the, the zone blades getting restricted or having friction when they're, when they're running, uh, when they're closing or opening. Um, often if the zone box has drooped or broken its straps, they end up hanging on, on an angle and that angle then creates binding on the uh, polystyrene sides. And therefore, what after we are about uh, wear out the cogs inside the zone motor or we actually just break the shaft which means it's not able to work. So the two main things we find with the zone station is either a faulty power supply which will have the flashing lights or no lights at all. Sometimes you have a clicking of the relays inside the main control box and also no zone, um, airflow is not uh, being supplied to a room or zones not, or the airflow not turning off when you're asking it to turn off. That's generally the zone motors themselves. We go over to the zone motors and we want to double check them. For installation of the zone motors, please look at our other videos we have on our YouTube page and we'll explain how we go about installing a zone motor and ensuring you get it right. Make sure We need to make sure we get them right, otherwise you avoid warranty and we will have the same issue again. Thank you for watching. We invite you to follow us and also check out our online stores.